Well, ladies and gentlemen, boo-hoo. It's an Adolf Hitler jump scare. Yeah, they're digging it up again. We've got Kamala Harris doing this terribly fake October surprise, trying to jazz it up, doing a three-minute talk. They've got C-SPAN there. She'll speak for three minutes and then just leaves. I mean, this is pathetic. It's so scripted. And it's like this huge thing. Oh, my God. There was a story yesterday. And what she's referencing is the... Uh, Atlantic story that says uh, basically that Donald Trump is Adolf Hitler. I thought it was a joke because that was something that they used in 2016. They don't really use it anymore considering Trump was in the White House for four, for four years. They can't fear monger it. By the way, remember the, uh, oh my God, Trump's going to have the nuclear codes. They don't use that one anymore, do they? With the, uh, with what happened with no war during the Trump administration, but it's just funny. Uh, but let's see what he, let the Kamala Harris, this is break. Oh my God, this is breaking news. Oh my God, Kamala, please tell me, this is huge. I'm sorry, this is, we gotta cut to this. We gotta go to this right now, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let me turn this up, let me turn this up. I need to get my popcorn, hold on. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within, and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. And let's be clear. By the way, the con about I have to talk about the context of this real quickly. They recently uh, passed something that made it legal for the U.S. military to use lethal force. The Biden administration did to use lethal force against citizens and it's a real vague thing. I'm going to go over it in a video maybe, but, but like for her to say that, that's real rich considering what they just authorized. It's like, it, it, you know, in any sort of setting, it's it's very vague and it's the military being able to, you, you can use force against citizens and that's the Biden administration doing it. But she, they keep talking about Trump doing it uh, when he's in power, but they're, they're, but they're doing it right now. They've already authorized it. So, so it's just the ultimate gaslight, but nobody knows about that. Who he considers to be the enemy from within. Anyone who refuses to bend a knee or dares to criticize him would qualify in his mind as the enemy within, like judges, like journalists, like nonpartisan election officials. It is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, the man who is responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. All of this is further evidence for the American people of who Donald Trump really is. This is a window into who Donald Trump is. And so I think that's just more of the same rhetoric there. We don't have to watch the end of it, but you, you understand, I mean, it is clear they're going for the Hitler narrative. They are comparing Trump to Hitler. This is exactly what happened in 2015. This is the type of stuff, I mean, I used to say, you know, two years ago, three years ago, kind of as like a caricature of the left, like, oh, Trump is Hitler, like kind of like how ridiculous they are. I really haven't said it this cycle because they stopped doing it. Like, like they just, they, you know, they, I, I guess they realized, you know, after his four year term, it doesn't really make much sense. Well, here it is now. And you've got, oh my God, one of Donald Trump's former generals, he just happened to say two weeks before the election that it's just, it's so, such crap, man. It really is. And like to do this for three minutes and then just leave. Cause she talks for, you know, three minutes and then just go there. She takes no questions, nothing, zero transparency. And it really is a dying campaign and it really feels that way. Um, and, and that's really what's going on there when it comes to that. And then you've also got the lock him up, um, soundbite that Joe Biden had yesterday, which, you know, it's like, they keep talking about, and it, it, I almost have to laugh when they say it, but they keep saying Donald Trump's going to use his power once he gets into office, the executive branch, to persecute his political enemies. It's like, 
oh my God, that you, you've done that against Donald Trump. Has the, is that not what's been going on this entire time with the Democrats in control? And it's not even like they're like actual charges. They elevated misdemeanors to felony charges and liberals like Andrew Cuomo said, they admitted it's ridiculous. And the only reason it happened was because they hate Trump. And they're trying to fear monger that, that Trump's going to do what they already did. They already did to Trump. It's like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not. It's just like, that's how annoying it is with these people. They say that's, that's what they do. Um, he's going to prosecute his pill. You, you're doing that. What are you talking about? And so like, you have to laugh about it because it's so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, this is just pathetic. She doesn't even answer. She, 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 she talks for three minutes and then scurries back in like a little rodent. Um, and, and, and probably gonna eat like cantaloupe with walls or something. Uh, the press conference by Harris sounded like that of a candidate who in the late stages of the campaign realizes they are running out of options and is desperately scrambling to turn things around. This is before the ultimate knockout blow when Trump goes on Rogan and has his Madison Square Garden rally. They're trying to take control of this and saying Trump is Hitler. We've been so desensitized to it. They are the boy who cried wolf. No matter what they say about Trump, it doesn't matter. The general public doesn't care because they did this to themselves by really overdoing the Trump hate early on. And now they've got nothing, but this is crap anyways. I mean, this is just the crap. Oh, it comes out two weeks before the election oh, the, 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 that Trump wants his generals to be like Hitler's generals. And I mean, it's just so obvious, man. It really is. Um, but that, that's the Democrat October surprise. M maybe there'll be another one. Oh, by the way, what was the other one they were talking about? Um, they were talking about there potentially being another October surprise, but uh, you can see it more Russia BS. The story has been shopped for days now and then possibly the Rolling Stone will put, yeah, it's going to be like the Rolling Stone or something. So I'm guessing the story is probably really far out there stuff that ties Trump to Russia and probably all of the mainstream outlets are like, when it comes to the Russia stuff, if you don't have like concrete proof, this just makes them look worse because there's been, that's another situation. It's the boy who cried wolf. Nobody believes these people unless you have hard proof of Trump collusion with Russia. If you just have this half baked thing, that's trying to, you know, October surprise against Trump. They're like, listen, this is going to make us look worse because nobody believes this crap. And so maybe the Rolling Stone will release it. Um, but it looks like it's more Russia Trump stuff. So it's Trump is Hitler. I mean, we're going back to the basics. We're playing the hits. Trump is Hitler. Uh, Trump's going to end democracy. Trump, uh, you know, had collusion with Russia. That's the only reason he won in 2016. We're pl we're going back to the biggest hits. And, and that's really what's happening when it comes to these October surprises. So we'll see if anything comes of that. But either way, guys, when it comes to the, I mean, that was pathetic. It's so scripted. She goes out for three minutes and they're like, because they have nothing. They have nothing. Like, this is what you have, really? From the, the Atlantic, it looked like it was written by a third grade girl who doesn't like Donald Trump, who says Donald Trump is worse than Hitler. And then they write something and say, Joe Rogan is one of the worst people of all time. They said Joe Rogan was one of the worst people ever. These people, I mean, this is pathetic. They're, they're, liter they're unraveling. This is getting really, really bad. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.